the scene of them picking up the hitchhiker was pretty long and it did go on for a bit too long but the silence the awkwardness the tenseness it was a really good scene though I do think it went on a little bit too long because it was a quite quite a bit of the runtime. But it's a pretty good opening to a movie. It's not exactly the opening, but it is close. The movie follows five people. One of them is a bit older than the others. He's not that much older, but it's a bit weird for the friend group. I might get it now if it was like online friends or something, but the dude looks 30 and other people look in their early 20s. Anyways, there's four friends. Five, actually. And they're going to go see if their dad's grave has been robbed. Because there's been some robberies lately. And then eventually they go to this house. And they do kind of a dick move though. They leave their friend that's in a wheelchair outside and nobody helps him in. So he's understandably angry. Though his character is a bit whiny and annoying at times. But I definitely felt he was in the right of being angry since everybody just left him outside. Not one person out of the four people there helped him in and those people are supposed to be his friends. And then two of them immediately try and leave. They don't ask if he needs anything before they leave, they just leave. They end up getting killed not too long later. And it ends up just being the three of them. Sally, Franklin, and Jerry. Jerry is the older one. He ends up leaving because they've been gone too long and then he gets killed too. Though for it being called Texas Chainsaw Massacre, there's not a lot of chainsaw kills. We do see the chainsaw quite a bit, but the chainsaw is only used once. As a kill. Out of the four people that die in this movie. Well, four victims anyway, because I'm pretty sure the hitchhiker guy that got hit by a car died. Or maybe not. Maybe he's in the sequel. We'll have to find out if it's on anything that's streaming right now. I'll definitely watch it if so. Um... This is a really old movie and it has a final girl. I did not expect that. I should have when the wheelchair guy and Sally were the only ones left. But I didn't think a movie from the 70s would have a final girl. Final girl and if it did she probably wasn't going to last long. But she lasted quite a bit and she ended up surviving too. So eventually Franklin... And them decided to go and look for their friends because they've been gone too long after having a fight over the flashlight. And she's like, hey, I'm not taking you. I can't push you. But then she decides to take him anyway and he gets killed. And um, she gets kidnapped not too long later by the gas station owner because she decides to trust him. Which I didn't trust him. It just happened too many times in movies by now that one of the main characters decided they wanted to go look for help and then that person ended up being involved the whole time. It was definitely a newer thing at the time because it's an old movie. But since it's happened so often now, I expected it. Which is kind of sad. I wish I would have watched this earlier. Before I got used to horror movies and their tropes. 
she eventually does get away. The brother doesn't even run after him. The older brother, I get that he doesn't like killing. But he also doesn't want them to get exposed. So I don't know why he would just stay at the house and not run after her too. And make sure they got her. She ends up bumping into the guy that hits the hitchhiker. And instead of driving away, they get out of the car. Even though earlier in the movie, they drove away when they kicked out the hitchhiker. When he had a knife. And then later, she gets into the truck and drives away. So I don't know why they didn't drive away in that car. It's not like it got destroyed or anything. They just cut the door a bit with the chainsaw. And then the driver just kind of disappears. Like, he runs away. I guess that's pretty smart. And he didn't have any lines. He was just a dude that was running. And, you know, actually being smart, unlike most characters... I figured he was just going to die, though, since he didn't have any lines. But no, the man just sprints away to never be seen again. So I guess that was pretty cool. Then eventually another car comes down that road, which I still think is weird since we didn't see many cars when she went to the gas station. And there clearly wasn't many people living in this town. But now there's like not one but two cars going down this road. She hops into the truck with the guy and they drive away in a very iconic scene of her getting free from her captors. So, I wonder what the sequel is going to be like.